Hey, how's it going? Vince, Squatchbug Games. So, uh, sorry, I had a long day at work today and just got a Peloton, so I, I tried it out. And that shit kicked my ass, so here I am. So, we're, we got, um, uh, so I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna go over how to, uh, use your own weapons. Um, I think there was a tutorial from earlier this year, and I think there's been some changes to the, uh, blueprints for the most part, so I figure. Might as well do another video since I've already gone through all this. It's all pretty simple now. Ten short steps. Uh, so first thing is the obvious. You're going to migrate all your data over to uh, your project. So mine is uh, a little... It's, it's not It's not going to be the standard, uh, you know, the straight out of the box version 2.5. It is 2.5, but I've got some other assets that I've merged over and I've made some other changes in the animation blueprint. Uh, minimal level work because I really hate working on levels and I can think of any other excuse not to work on them until last second. Um, that's, a, that's, that's a different story though. So anyways, um, once you do that, so now you, if you already have in mind what weapon you want to use, uh, for me, I've, I've got the, uh, it's, it's actually kind of a popular asset, uh, the weapons, um, I forget what the hell it's called, <laughs> to be honest. That workout was brutal. Sorry. Anyways, um, you guys are probably familiar, familiar with this. So um, the first thing you're going to do, though, is you're going you're gonna to make a copy of that mesh, um, the original. You know, So you can, you can do some things. You can make some changes to it. Um, for me, I added all the – so I found their blueprint, you know, of – um, BP or base weapon BP for them, and they so they've got all these extra sockets and things like of that nature. I basically copy those over. Oh come on now, I've been letting my computer run so while I was at work today. Okay, there we go. So as you can see, you got your weapon mesh. You know, you got your mag, barrel, scope, uh, your child actors now this is not going to be the same for every you know asset they have but if you just have a simple mesh easy um but for me all these are kind of like pre-assigned they're all they all have sockets you know and they fit quite nicely when you add in the additional meshes for the grip and the you know magazines uh, child actors you can really uh go crazy with this stuff but anyways i uh i basically just copied these items just did a control C right click copy um, bring them over to your uh, your BP base weapon so let me pull that up so you can see BP I'm just gonna search for it because I'm lazy BP base weapon all right so okay my my mistake. I actually uh, just copied the scope. So in my child blueprints is where I put all the attachments. You know, you can do it any way you want, but uh, for me, that's how I did it. So let me pull that up. All right, let me clear that out. All right. So for instance, here is the C, um, the M4. All right. As you see, I've got all those additional. Um, meshes uh static meshes and child actors added in so you can make changes to them as needed um so this is going to look different on yours if you have the standard um first person shooter template you're going to see kind of a crisscross thing going on and i'm actually going to wing through this because i'm not using the uh first person shooter arms that come with it i'm using the uh third person because I'm using ALS, but um, basically you're going to copy in the mesh respectively. For me, I got them both in here because I just haven't had time to go in and, you know, remove the uh, first person stuff. And everything calls for it, you know, in the code. So um, pretty simple. All I did was I just aligned, you know, these ad additional, um, you know, attachments. I think for this one, I just have a grip uh, magazine. I haven't gotten too crazy with it, you know. I haven't animated it yet. This is just a basic, basic overview. 
All right. So, so that's that. What you're going to do is you're going to go into wherever you have your mesh that you want to transfer over and you're going to duplicate it. So let's find, let's find something new. Okay. What we can do is I'll, I'll, I'll go through two. I'll do primary weapon and we'll do a secondary weapon. All right, so here's an ACWI. I've already got that one. M4, I can do an AK40 or 110, AK110, yeah. So I'm gonna do this one. All right, bear with me here. I am completely winging this. All right, so I'm gonna duplicate and I'm gonna just change the end part. So my game is called Camper's Paradise. I haven't thought of anything better yet. So CP, that's when I've got all my um, suffixes named. And I'm going to go ahead and just boop, transfer it over. Okay. Move here. Sure. All right. So <clears throat> let me find where it's at. Oh, shit. Did I? So for the first person, what is it? third person the third person uses the y-axis this is something I'm gonna have to actually uh, test out I'm gonna see if the x-axis is what you need to use for because usually when you get your meshes I think most assets have an x-axis and a y-axis you know I'm not sure exactly why I'm not the expert on you know meshes and all that great stuff but uh, we'll, we'll see if that works if just the y-axis work or if we need to use the respective because, uh, you know, on yours, it's crisscross, you know, the way they sit together. All right, so SK110, this is the x-axis, so I got to go back, actually. I'm going to grab the y-axis because that's the one I'm using. Works for all my stuff right now. All right, so where are you? Y-axis, okay. Duplicate. gonna change that to CP you can name it whatever you want <clears throat> I'm gonna move it over okay all right so now um, there's some things that you will need to copy over bare minimum I would say is the uh, that that uh firing there's there's a there's like a socket let me pull this one up real quick uh, that one does okay hold on no oh that's the wrong one sorry all right uh sc y axis let me pull that okay so this socket here muzzle flash you need to make sure that's there so let me pull up the uh, BP base weapon under FPS, and I will copy that over. BP base weapon. Okay, BP base weapon. All right. I'm gonna go to viewport. I'm gonna find where you are. So in in his, it looks like it's both. I don't know. Anyways. We'll figure it out. All right, so rifle, go to your skeleton. This is where you'll copy that socket from. Go ahead and uh, control C. And go into your new, your new mesh. All right, wherever you put it. AK, X, uh, AK, Y axis. Okay, all right. And just go to the root there, control V. And we're going to adjust this because we don't want it way the heck over there. Let me slow that down a little bit so I can move around, get a closer look. All right. <clears throat> Okay, there's that. It's a look, uh, it's a look a good. All right, let me 
close this. This should be all right. All right, next step. We're going to go into our BP base weapon. I should have left it open. Oh, well. BP base weapon. All right, make a child blueprint. We're going to call it the... You know, for me, I'm just going to call this the... Uh, BP uh, AK one one zero, and then we'll just give it a CP at the end for mine. Enter. Okay, where the hell did you go? There you are. All right, let's go in. Now you're gonna want to have another folder set up. For me, I've got one made for weapons, mesh respectively. I'm going to drop this into Blueprints. All right, so just to keep the flow going, I, I wrote some notes here on what we're going to do each time. So we created a BP, or our child BP from the base weapon, create a duplicate, um, add weapon enum. Okay, so let's, let's find the enum, the weapons enum. We're going to add that new name, okay? So this is actually it right here, all right? So as you see, I've got some extra stuff added, you know? Some of them are primary, some of them are secondary. You can, you can, sele you can set this all up in the array later on under character selection. For now, we're going to add in our new AK-110. So AK... 110 or whatever weapon mesh you have. <clears throat> okay. Oh, let me take that dash out. That's not going to look right on the game. There we go. All right. So save it. AK 110. This is going to show up. You're going to have an option now under your child blueprint to select that. That's how, you know, the game and the code knows what blueprint is what kind of. <laughs> You'll see. So. Weapons, Blueprint, let's open up that AK-110. All right, so Mesh, I'm going to go ahead and find our AK-110 that we made. AK-110. <clears throat> so Y-axis, CP, all right. And for this one, I'm going to just put the same one. We'll, we'll test it out to make sure it's good later since, since I'm not using it. All right. 110. Okay. Let's go in a little closer. I'm going to slow this down to make our adjustments. All right. So we've got... I'm going to keep it pretty basic. I'll probably add a sight in. We've got our front sight post. I don't know why some weapons have front sight posts and some don't. Whatever. It's all good. Okay, so compile it, save it. Keep it open. We're just going to move it. Actually, hold on. Let me make this. There we go. Okay. Next step. Let's go back into the BP base weapon. Whoops. Might as well just keep it open, right? Kind of a spaz today, so bear with me. BP base weapon. All right, so let's find... Oh, shit. Damn it. Okay. Sorry. I didn't mean BP base weapon. I meant one of the blueprints for whichever mesh you're using. If, there's, if it doesn't have any blueprints if it's just basic meshes and you don't have to worry about this but this helps a lot because of all these extra attachments so we're just gonna copy all of these all right we're gonna go ahead and just paste and we're gonna drag them out one by one so they're aligned properly Okay. All right, so 
The reason why I use these is because it's easier to set up your attachments to line up pretty close. Okay, so grip. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to do the uh, magazine to keep this simple. You can play around with this later. Let me see if there's an AK mag. Ah, perfect. All right. Well, look at that. Nowhere close where we need it to be. Let me see. Okay. Um, one cool thing is you can open up the mesh that you have. And you can set up some... Uh, shit, what do you call those? Hold on. Let me just open it. Okay, so... You can do these preview assets, you know. So I'm going to pick the AK Y axes right here. And I'm going to find the mag and I'm going to just go ahead and add a preview socket, preview asset, sorry. And AK mag. Ah, got to do it again. AK mag. Alright, so we got two. Which one is what? BX, AK 110, skeletal mesh, and static mesh. Let's go ahead and just try the static mesh since that's the one that we'll be using probably, I think. Alright, so it should be sitting right about Mia. Right? All right, so go back in. Let's go ahead and turn your snaps on. If they're not on. Let's see. Let's see if we can get this. No, okay. And there may be a better way of doing this. I'm showing you what I know. Is this the, uh, that's the release. So I've never actually shot an AK. I've shot M4s, so I'm more familiar with them. For the most part, I think that is what it looks like. Let's do this. Um, let's look at it. Let's compare them one side by side real quick. No, I think. Hold on. Yeah, that looks like it's. I wonder. Hold on. So there's bolts inside. Maybe I can align it up with. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, I think that's good. It'll look good to me. All right. <sighs> so, let's compile that real quick and save it. I think we'll go ahead and add a site to. This is just for reference. This doesn't actually make anything change in the game. Um, let's see what would be good. Let's go with the... Um, fuck, I don't know. Site. Some red dot scope. Mm. Salt iron sight. Ugh. 
Yeah, I don't think so. Control Z. Site. ACOG. Let's do an ACOG. Okay. And just once again, we'll just to get this shit looking all right. Okay, so it should be sitting right about here. Okay. Actually, this. So for my uh, BP we base weapon, I actually set this in. I copied this uh, static mesh, so that's why it's inherited. And I've got scope one. For you, you're probably just gonna have your yours is gonna look like this. You're not gonna have a scope one. So for simplicity, I'm gonna choose scope. I'm gonna choose ACOG. All right, and it's gonna be crazy, crazy. It's a little big. Jesus freaking hell. Hmm. We'll adjust it once we get it in place. Turn the snap settings on. Snap brew. Okay. This looks pretty good so far. Okay. Size wise, we're all right. Let me turn that back. It's still fucking huge. Testing purposes should be all right. But. Okay. Uh, I think it looks all right, but 
We'll see what happens when we actually put it in place. Maybe something that you just have to play with. All right, so compile, save. All right. Um, okay, good. All right, so next step. So we've done all of these. We added the weapon, we opened it, assigned new weapon adjustments to mesh. We're gonna, we did the fire socket, or the, yeah, and we can do this. Okay, so assign fire sound. Um, under your event graph, there's, there's one event that you can go ahead and override, so you can choose the sound you want. I'm gonna pull up a copy of one of my other uh, blueprints just to speed this through let's say m4 all right this is uh, this is all it is event play uh, weapon fire play sound at location you're gonna find your sound get world location uh, target scene component uh, mesh TPP all right so control C and BP whatever your child blueprint is didn't copy hold on copy paste all right there we go all right so let's find let me see if I have an AK sound oh, no we'll just do an assault actually you know what I'm gonna use this uh, assault rifle sound I'm gonna keep it the same just for the video speed things through all right, so that is that. Where's my damn sticky notes? At? Okay. All right, next step, let's go into the uh, WB character selection. Add this blueprint to the array. So go down to first person shooter and find WB character. Oh, shit. You know what? Hold on. Go back into your child blueprint. Go to BP and choose. I think it's weapon. You need to. Uh, okay, weapon name. So go down to weapon name and select the uh, AK 110 that's assigned under the enum. All right. That way it shows up on the, on the selection when you play. All right, go to graph. Right, so here we are. This is primary weapons. All right, so if you're adding one in, you're just going to add a pin. If you're going to change it out, that's a different story. I'm going to change based on, you know, if you want to change out the assault rifle, put in yours. Cool, you know. So let's add pin. Let's select the new SQ, what was it called? AK. 110. There we go. Compile. Save it. All right. Let's give her a test. <clears throat> AK 110. Okay. All right. Let's see what happens. Okay. So I'm glad it did this. When it does this crazy shit, that means that it's got some crazy physics that it's trying to uh, it's affecting your character let's go into your AK alright find that mesh that you're using clear this crap out and then find go ahead and find it open it up which it should still be open where is it okay it's, on, it's open on my other screen sorry okay so asset details Physics asset, quick fix, clear it out, save, close, play. All right, play. Okay, so. As you can see, um, 
needs to be adjusted slightly ever so. So you can you can do that. Um, let me actually make this a little bigger. Actually, let me just check one thing. Let me see where I was sitting on the hand. Okay, so it looks like it's sitting okay on the right hand. Let me pull up another window to see what he looks like when he's actually like aiming and everything. I'm just going to move this over. You won't be able to see it, but I will. Okay, so right hand is placed okay. I'm going to adjust the ACOG. So this is why uh, using cameras on your separate weapons is pretty good practice. Because um, I've got some weapons that, that are fine in this view, but obviously this one is not. So, yeah. It looks like it needs to be brought down a little bit in the front. That, that may be what fixes this. So I'll, I'll do that real fast. Just for testing purposes. So basically, you got to play around with it. Get the idea. All right. So now for a secondary weapon, it's going to be quite similar. You're just going to add it, that to the uh, to the. Let me open the. Okay. So under WB selection, you would you would go through the exact same steps, if, except you would add it into this uh, sidearm weapon array. Add pin. You get add it in. Uh, make sure you sign that that weapon, you know, a name under the enum. It has to be in the enum first, obviously. And then uh, it, it should work um, as long as there's no physics issues. Okay, so that is that. Um, let's see. Yep, so I think that's pretty much it. I was thinking about going over how to add in like separate animations but I think that can be another video probably kind of a rough video um, didn't, the weapons didn't come out perfect but you get the idea on how to you know set them up and everything right thanks for watching